How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at the best torrenting program or torrenting client. Now, real quick, I'm just going to get through these guys right here, these these four uh, clients and why I don't use them and why I prefer uh, Qubit Torrent over all of these. Now, as you can tell, BitTorrent and uTorrent are nearly identical, but the most annoying thing about these, even though they're reliable, is the uh, the flashing ads here like they're not even advertisements they're just flashing black so that's a complete turn off for me honestly i don't like seeing any of that it's very annoying and if you're maybe if you have epilepsy that might be even worse for you but yeah they're not even they don't even look like ads they're just there to kind of annoy you so yeah we're gonna scrap those now deluge is pretty good Pretty simple and easy to use, but it is outdated. And last time they updated it was in 2017, so it's a little it's a little outdated in terms of UI and in terms of kind of uh, the, the the coding itself is just outdated at this point. Views is my second best. Um, now it does have an ad here. It's not really it's not so much in the way, so it's really not that bad. Really not not as much as uTorrent and BitTorrent. Um, it's pretty easy to use, good UI and everything. Uh, but generally, you know, my favorite is Qubit Torrent. Now, Qubit Torrent has no ads in here. Um, very simple, very, uh, you know, I've got a bunch of extra features when it comes to uh, Qubit Torrent. No advertisements. You've got a bunch of handy tools. Uh, no bundled software when you add, when you download it. You know, you don't get like some antivirus coupled with it or whatever. So, yeah, overall, I think it is the best um, torrenting program in, in the market out there. Um, now, when it comes to torrenting, you want to make sure you're doing it safely. First, you have to check with your local laws just to make sure that you're doing everything legally. You know, there's nothing uh, illegal, illegal you're doing. Uh, torrenting itself is not really illegal. It's the content that you might be torrenting. Now, you may or may not be aware of it, but some content that you get from torrenting sites could be illegal to possess. And uh, yeah, it, it just could be... Uh, copyrighted content or you know some movie that just came out and you're not supposed to have obviously you know you can go watch it in the movies or purchase it over over uh you know maybe watch it over netflix or something like that but downloading it is definitely illegal illegal so it also depends on the country you're living in so i would recommend that you check with your local laws now if you don't want to kind of deal with any of that you want to use a VPN and you want to use a nice, reliable VPN. And let me show you guys quickly how you can actually secure your, um, your, your connection with a VPN. Now, what you want to look for in a VPN is a good kill switch. So a kill switch right here will, will sever your internet traffic if your VPN connection drops. What that means is that if when you're connected to the VPN, you're connecting to the servers, the VPN service providers, and this, their servers are pretty encrypted, they're secured and private. But if you disconnect your VPN, you will revert back to the servers of your ISP, which are monitored. So this will make sure that in case your VPN connection drops for whatever reason, you will uh, lose internet access. So as far as your ISP is concerned, you're offline. Next, you want to look for a good protocol to use, and that'll be either a WireGuard protocol, which is lightweight in Express, and NordLynx in um, NordVPN. If you're interested in any of these, by the way, I'll link some uh, special deals and offers in the description down below. You might not find them in the original website, so feel free to take advantage of these. Now, for the kill switch in NordVPN, that's really cool. They have a an app kill switch, which if you don't want to sever your internet access, you can just kill the applications you're using that you don't want to be monitored. So the moment you lose your uh, VPN connection, it'll just kill these apps. So that's pretty cool if you don't want to uh, completely sever your internet, internet connection, which makes NordVPN a little more kind of uh, torrenting. Uh, it caters towards torrenting a little bit more. It caters to torrenting activities, especially because you have like a peer-to-peer -peer server list here, which you know will uh, kind of help you with the torrenting uh, with, with downloading uh, uh, more efficiently and securely uh, since torrenting is a peer-to-peer -peer activity anyways. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so for uh, for protocols, I was, I was talking about OpenVPN UDP. You want to use OpenVPN UDP just because the independent audits that took place over NordVPN and ExpressVPN both examined, thoroughly examined um, OpenVPN protocols. So you, the UDP. 
Now, OpenVPN has been proven through these audits to be the most or best combination, as it says here, the best combination of speed and security. Now, light up, uh, not lightweight, WireGuard protocols such as Nord Lynx here and lightweight may very well be more secure. We just don't have proof of that. So until we get proof of that, you know, we'll continue to using, we'll continue using OpenVPN, the UDP option. TCP will give you very bad uh, download speed. So that'll be it. And with Express, you have, uh, this is an Express exclusive, which is only use ExpressVPN DNS servers while connected. And this will make sure that you're using, exclusively using physical servers, physical ExpressVPN servers only available to uh, ExpressVPN, only accessible by trusted ExpressVPN employees. And uh, yeah, they are within the uh, server buildings or, or server rooms of ExpressVPN. So yeah, uh, that means you're not using virtual or rented servers, you're exclusively using physical servers, which will ensure better performance and um, just efficiency in general. And for the most part, security, that's the most important part. So whether you're torrenting or doing anything really stick, keep, just keep that on at all times. Uh, and by the way, when it comes to protocols, uh, Lightway and Nordlynx are absolutely great for everything else, ex especially streaming. But when it comes to security, let's just stick with OpenVPN for now because that's the one that we have evidence for when it comes to uh, you know, securing your data as, as, as efficiently as possible. So that'll be it. Once you have all these options ticked on and everything, you're good to go. Uh, for ExpressVPN, it doesn't matter which server you pick. It lets you torrent or do anything, uh, whatever you want over any server. It doesn't matter which server you pick. You can just hit the speed test and check which uh, server fits you best in terms of speed and latency. And with um, NordVPN, you can just hit the peer to peer servers and you're good to go. So, you know, let's give the open, let's give open VPN a try. Uh, let it pick for me, you know, the fastest server, whatever it finds, uh, whichever server it finds best. So while it connects me, I'm going to Right here, I have Flash Gordon. Now this is a public domain, um, what's it called? This is a public domain uh, series. There's, it's completely free. It's not copyrighted or anything like that. So yeah, we're doing everything legally here. Um, again, you're going to open this, hit okay. And as you can tell, we are, I'm just gonna force resume it here to get it going as quickly as possible. We don't want, this video to be too long and we're connected to the peer to peer server here. And obviously the speed is going to depend on the amount of seeds and peers that are available for this, um, uh, for the, for this, for this torrent, it's very old. So, you know, I doubt there are any peers or seeds for this. So yeah, at this point, there's very little, uh, people kind of supporting the download, but anyways, that's pretty much how you secure your internet, uh, your well, your torrenting activity in terms of uh, program, BitTorrent is really the best. You can uh, set priority here. Uh, at, you can move it to the top, down, uh, move to the bottom. And um, you have all the options here as well if you don't wanna right click. Uh, so let's say you wanna change the directory, so you're just gonna go to options. And right here, you're going to you can change your default safe path right here. And that's pretty much it. Super simple to use. You know, you, you don't want to mess too much with the kind of, uh, you know, unless you know what you're doing, you can mess with the with the with the advanced section here, and just kind of uh, uh, customize it the way you want. It's got a lot of different options, but I prefer to not mess with that and just, you know, select my directory, set some priorities. And that's it really. So that'll be it. Um, if you're interested here, it just picked up two seeds. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty slow for this uh, for this torrent right here. But anyways, that'll be it. If you're interested in NordVPN or ExpressVPN, I'll link some special deals and offers in the description down below. Hopefully you guys can benefit from these. Besides that, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.